at the moment for me it's all about the cool girl denim. When it comes to trends I do tend to go for more silhouette trends as opposed to like print trends or pattern trends. Straight legs, rigid denim, vintage cuts, any day of the week, yes please. So I was in a bad mood about two weeks ago, went on a bit of a splurge, nothing like a bit of rage to, you know, fuel a good shopping spree. <laughs> Here is what we ended up with, four pairs of denim, quite a variation in color and cuts, but they all sort of have those elements that I've been really enjoying in denim. And you know what, I'm not even mad that I went on a bit of a splurge. I feel like I have like the same three pairs of jeans on repeat, so I felt like it was time to just try a couple of new pairs if you've been wanting a bit of a denim refresh this is the video for you okay so these are one of the ones that i have worn a couple of times already and i'm super happy with even though i've worn them a couple of times they've still kept their shape really well and they haven't stretched out too much which is kind of what i like a little bit more about rigid denim like it's not rigid denim to the point where it's uncomfortable this pair is monkey via asos i used to get stuff from monkey all the time jet black a little bit more on the high-waisted side I um, absolutely love the style of these. I don't have a lot of wide leg denim, but I really like my pair from H&M. So I decided to get kind of a similar pair in black. Personally, my favorite way to style these jeans is with my heeled via Spiga sort of ankle boots. When it comes to wide leg jeans, I'm only five foot six. So I feel like, yes, I can wear them with trainers, but I just can't carry it off the same way somebody that's like 5'8 or 5'9 could. I mean, yes, you could wear them every day, but I think I want to save them as my smarter pair of jeans. Um, I think the boots really smart the whole look up and uh, means I don't have to get them taken up. The t-shirts that I'm wearing today are all from Mango. Okay, so this is the second pair of denim that I got from ASOS via Weekday and uh, these are probably the only pair that I'm like kind of unsure about. I still think I'm going to keep them. I got this pair and the last pair in a length 32. I don't know why I did that. I probably should have got a 30 length in these. These Weekday ones are almost true straight legs. They're in this gorgeous classic Levi's blue type shade and I do really like them they're super super comfortable again for me i feel like this is the perfect amount of high-waisted it doesn't like come up to my boobs as much i have to be kind of careful with high-waisted stuff sometimes but it's a nice change from the mid-rise that i have been wearing an awful lot and a lot more forgiving on the waist area any pieces i do have in my wardrobe from them have been great and really have stood the test of time on my closet so as you can probably see these are my most worn pair so far out of the two that i've been wearing I love the color of these. They're kind of these like orangey camo colored, very boyish style jeans. Uh, again, ASOS, weekday via ASOS, and I love them. They're super comfortable. Such a blast styling them. I think they just give a little bit of oomph to all of like my black and white basics. Again, I'm just wearing the same mango t-shirt but in black and so simple, so easy to style. I've been wearing them a bunch of different ways. You can head over to my Instagram if you want to see more sort of outfit inspo because I think they're in a weird way quite versatile. I don't know when I'm comfortable in something I get very inspired to kind of style it as many ways as possible so you can head over there if you want to check out some different variations and look I know these kind of jeans are not for everyone but if you like the way I style them and you can see yourself in them a little little cool girls jeans tip that I have for you guys is what I did with all of these jeans pretty much actually from past experience from ordering these jean brands from ASOS is they've always been too small and for this look I think it's better to go a little bit bigger so instead of getting a normal 29 which would be like a proper fit on me I got the waist 30s instead and what you end up with is what I like to call cool girl cool girl little hip creases can you see them can you see them now mine are very pronounced because like I said I've been wearing these jeans a lot and uh, they're a little bit stretched out I've got kind of the sitting crease from wearing them so much girls used to recommend like go up a size or two like I'm always kind of like why would you do that like you want jeans to fit you but actually with this style of jeans if you want that like vintage very like I found this in a thrift shop type five it's actually better if you size up and it can be hard to kind of swallow that pill and get jeans bigger than your actual size. I don't know, I, I felt a little bit funny about it, but it's so worth it because the overall effect is number one, 
more comfortable like I find when you get kind of rigid denim they can kind of like hike up on your crotch a little bit and be super uncomfortable to sit in all day and I do wear these jeans almost every single day it's just hard to replicate the same look without going that little bit bigger and overall when the jeans aren't actually bet into you in this style the effect is more slimming because they're not actually like highlighting for example like I got thick thighs so in a weird way going up a size it actually creates this sort of illusion where the fabric sort of skims over your body and tapers in at your waist which for me is what I want my waist is kind of like my smallest point I want to emphasize that this particular style I did find kind of roomy on my waist and the belt isn't completely necessary but I think for the look I do like it to be pulled up uh, quite high on my waist and I like it to sort of sit there and the nice thing about these is that they are more high-waisted so naturally they're going to sit up on your hips more and sort of stay up but that's kind of how I've been wearing them. The little black belt is from Zara. Okay, so last pair up is not from ASOS, it's actually from And Other Stories. Now these were gifted, but I chose them and I've bought And Other Stories jeans many a time with my own Dallas. So I highly rate their denim. Again, they're just really good elevated capsule type have kind of fallen in love with like off-white denim I think it's so chic and again it's just something different than your standard blue or black and it always looks elevated everyone always comes for me and like how do you keep this stuff clean I don't know I have a vanish stick it gets the stains out um but I think it's worth the risk in terms of potentially getting stains on it because it looks so good now these are Quite a different pair from the other ones I showed you. They're still straight leg, but a little bit more cropped on the ankle and maybe just a tad skinnier, but definitely not a skinny leg by any means. You can definitely see how in the camera this emphasizes my thighs a lot more. These I got in my regular and other story size, which is a waist 29, and they fit perfectly, a lot more snug, uh, not much room for food babies in these bad boys, but I love the fit. I really needed something in this cut for wearing for trainers and for summer, spring, summer coming up. I was definitely inspired by Coco Beauty, Hannah, my girl Hannah. She always kills it, especially when it comes to like capsule wardrobe pieces. I feel like she wears outfits like this quite often with a bit more of like a long coat on top and I think it looks effortlessly comfy casual chic, which you guys know is always what I'm trying to go for in my everyday wardrobe so shout out to Hannah for inspiring. I think my trainers are a little bit blown out but they're the same off-white color they're kind of distressed canvas um, sneakers from Saint Laurent. It has a little Saint Laurent logo on the side which again I think elevates my basic outfits like this. I'm still in two minds about the blue denim pair. I do like them, but I think I might need to get them taken up. I was just really in the mood to film this type of video, so I hope you enjoy it. I do have some other videos that were just not ready to go up yet, like the vlogs. I was thinking of doing this style of video, but a trends that I wouldn't normally wear or trends that I hate and trying to style those. I already picked up one or two pieces, but I definitely need at least three ideas. So if there's anything you really wanna see me style or something that you just don't see me wear and you wonder why or you think I hate it or something that I think doesn't suit me, but might, who knows, and kind of try my best to style it in a way that I like. Uh, any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you missed last week's Sunday vlog, my life here in NYC, then be sure to check that out. Hope you have a fabulous week. Go smash it. I believe in you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.